Damn nature, you crazy. Yup, it's a real roller coaster out there, especially when you look at the critters that used to roam the earth. Sadly, there are many species that we'll never get to witness with our own eyes. The animal kingdom has its twists and turns for sure. That's the last male of a species singing for a female who will never come. From the kangaroo cousin that couldn't escape the hunters to the mysterious frog defeated by mushrooms, these are the 20 last known photos of animals that went extinct. Carolina Parakeet Have you ever heard of the Carolina Parakeet? No? Us neither. These vibrant birds must have been a real spectacle with their striking green and yellow plumage. Yep, it's a real shame they're no longer around to brighten up the landscape. Their party animal nature and distinctive calls made them quite the characters in the southern United States. Their diet leaned towards seeds, nuts, and fruits, and they knew how to enjoy the good stuff. But it's disheartening to think about all the challenges these colorful parakeets faced. Deforestation, poaching for the pet trade, and conflicts with farmers made life literally impossible for them. Not to mention diseases that possibly jumped from domestic poultry, causing devastating illness. Yep, sadly, the year 1918 marked the end of an era, with the last captive Carolina parakeet saying its goodbye. Their legacy, though, lives on in the memories and stories, and in their unique place in natural history of the eastern U.S. Gone but never forgotten. Passenger Pigeon Once the humble passenger pigeon was the undisputed boss of North American skies, but nowadays they are totally extinct. These social birds gathered in their millions in the sky, and we've no doubt they would have given even the most state-of-the-art drone displays a run for their money. But their story takes a sad turn. They went from being celebrities of the skies to extinct. And guess who's to blame? Yup, us. Relentless hunting and turning forests into concrete jungles sealed their fate. As their numbers shrank, finding them turned into a real game of hide and seek, and then all went quiet. Martha, the last of the passenger pigeons, took her final bow in 1914, putting an end to a golden era. Yup, it's on us to learn from the past, so we don't mess up again. Who knows what other incredible critters we might lose if we're not careful. Japanese Sea Lion Ever heard of the awe-inspiring Japanese sea lion? These sea monsters once reigned supreme in the waters surrounding Japan and the Korean Peninsula. The guys measured an impressive 7.2 feet, while the gals were just a smidge smaller. Talk about some seriously sizable sea creatures. These social butterflies of the sea loved to hang out in crews, turning rocky shores and petite islands into their own personal party spots. But their blissful days were numbered. As the 19th century rolled in, humans started hunting them down for fur, meat, and oil. Tragically, these majestic creatures couldn't escape the clutches of hunters, and their population plummeted until they vanished altogether. Even with efforts from conservationists, the Japanese sea lion couldn't avoid its inevitable fate. By the 1950s, it vanished from sight, and in 1974, the Japanese government officially declared it extinct. It's a sad truth. Due to hunting, we'll never have the privilege of witnessing the Japanese sea lion with our own eyes. Crescent Nail Tail Wallaby Introducing the Worong, also known as the Crescent Nail Tail Wallaby, a kangaroo cousin that used to bounce around the heart of Australia, kicking back in the woodlands of southwestern and central Oz. Yep, life was a breeze for these cute critters until humans showed up. When English settlers hit up Western Australia, they couldn't resist the Rarong's tasty goodness, claiming it tasted like a wild mashup of chicken and rabbit. Well, turns out being a culinary hit wasn't all it's cracked up to be. The Rarong gang went from thriving to taking a nosedive as the 20th century rolled in. The last known sighting? Somewhere around 1927 or 1928, when one lucky specimen got VIP access to Taronga Zoo. But that was it. Wild roaming days were over. This marsupial story hits hard, reminding us of the power humans hold over nature's delicate balance. One thing's for sure, we need to take the time to appreciate and safeguard the incredible critters we're lucky to share this planet with. The Tarpon Get ready to meet the Tarpon, an ancient horse that was basically the equine rock star of Europe and parts of Asia back in the day. 
These guys were rocking shades from gray to reddish brown, strutting zebra-like stripes on their legs and shoulders, and pulling off a bold dorsal stripe down their back. Yup, animal print never goes out of style. Whether it was wide open plains or thick forests, the tarpon knew how to make any place feel like home sweet home. But you know how it goes with humans. They started encroaching on tarpon turf, sealing the deal for these wild beauties. Losing their homes and competing for resources spelled out big trouble for the tarpons. By the late 1700s, their numbers were next to nothing. Fast forward to the early 1900s and true wild tarpons were just a distant memory. The very last tarpon, a female named Tartar, took its last breath in Russia in 1909. It's been well over a century, but the sting of their extinction still lingers. Goodbye tarpon, you've got a spot in the Hall of Fame of Earth's Natural Wonders. Golden Toad Step right into the magical world of the Golden Toad. This little guy used to be the real showstopper in the Monteverde cloud forests of Costa Rica, adding a pop of color amongst the foliage of the jungle. These little toads had flashy orange or yellow-orange skin, while the female frogs hopped around in darker shades with cool black patterns. But in the 80s, life threw them a curveball. Weird weather shenanigans wrecked their habitat. And by the early 90s, poof, they were gone. Not a golden toad in sight. Now that's what we call a disappearing act. Now, why they disappear for good? Well, that's still up for debate. Maybe a sneaky amphibian fungus had a hand in it. Plus, climate change may have something to do with their extinction. Whatever it was, we're sad to see them go. Javan Tiger Let's talk about the Javan tiger, a little cousin in the tiger family who made the lush island of Java its stomping ground. This tiger sported a sleek frame and a coat that ranged from yellow to deeper brown, and according to old accounts, it was a real showstopper. Java felt the squeeze of human activity, from tropical forests to high altitude hideaways. The Javan tiger adapted, but it wasn't enough. With farms and towns popping up everywhere, their homes were fading away. And when guns entered the picture, hunting turned into a tiger massacre, sealing their fate forever. By the 1970s, the Javan tiger's roar became a memory. Extinction finally hit their species in the 1980s, but for conservationists, their tale isn't in vain. It taught them to fight harder and smarter for those species teetering on the brink of extinction. In Javan culture, these tigers roared through art, folklore, and rituals. They were more than just creatures, they were legends. Their story is definitely a reminder to hold on to what we have before it slips away. Smooth Handfish Meet the Smooth Handfish, the ocean's little oddball known for its quirky looks and leisurely strolls along the seafloor. Sadly, some tragic news has come straight from the International Union for Conservation of Nature. The ocean's favorite floor hugger is now extinct. Just two centuries ago, they were the rulers of Australia's coastal waters, especially in Tasmania. But now, it's been a 200-year-long radio silence. Francois Perron's 1802 specimen is the last bit of proof they ever existed at all. And despite tireless searches, no others have shown up along the coast in Australia. Yep, this disappearing act is a glaring reminder of just how delicate marine life can be. It's time to start looking after our oceans. Who knows what fish might be next? Bramble K. Melamies This strange creature was the Bramble K. Melamies, a tiny wonder of nature that called the northern Great Barrier Reef its home. This cute critter's humble abode was a little grassy paradise surrounded by a shallow reef waters. But hold on to your snorkels, cause there's a tearjerker coming. Rising seas, epic storms, and the relentless erosion of shores put the Bramble K. Melamies home on the endangered list. This little island was vanishing fast against the tides. By 2009, it seemed to have disappeared for good. Then, in 2016, the IUCN put the nail in the coffin, declaring it officially gone. Conservationists had given it their best shots, folks. They tried guarding its habitat and even gave relocation a go. But its fate had been sealed. The Bramble K. Melamies became a sad victim of climate change crisis. Yangtze River Dolphin Let's plunge into the incredible story of the Baiji White Dolphin, a freshwater marvel that once graced the waters of China's Yangtze River. With its slender frame and gentle upturn to its mouth, it was perfectly designed for snagging fish from the riverbed. 
sporting a light gray hue with a pristine white belly. It earned the moniker Baiji, meaning white fin in Chinese. This solitary and timid creature had a seemingly happy and simple existence, swimming in the river, but sadly the Baiji faced a dangerous and tragic destiny. Pollution, bustling boats, and excessive fishing all took their toll on this gentle species. Dams and constructions disrupted its habitat, and despite conservation efforts, it slipped away from our world for good. In 2006, the Baiji was declared functionally extinct, and it was all down to human actions. This marked the first major vertebrate extinction of the 21st century. Goodbye, Baiji white dolphin, you will be missed. And now it's time for our open discussion. This old timey photo is circulating the internet. And we can see why. This massive black and white monster is bigger than any fish we've ever laid eyes on. Is this some kind of extinct species that used to swim in our oceans? Or could this creepy creature still be out there, lurking in the deep? It gives us the shivers just thinking about it. But what do you guys think? Use the hashtag open discussion in the comment section below to share your thoughts. Western Black Rhino Meet the Western Black Rhino, once the badass boss of Africa's Wild West. These rhinos roamed from Cameroon to Sudan, staking their claim on savannas and grasslands. Their don't mess with me attitude set them apart in the animal kingdom, but tragically, these rhinos faced a serious, serious problem. Their horns were all the rage, coveted for their supposed magical powers. Yup, people were actually hunting these majestic creatures for accessories. Fast forward to 2011, and it's not a happy ending. The western black rhino got a sad status update, extinct. The last pick of an alive rhino was snapped in Cameroon back in 2006, marking the end of their era. Yup, human greed can wreck even the toughest of creatures. Let's cross our fingers that we've learned our lesson and won't let history repeat itself with other endangered creatures. Syrian Wild Ass This is the Syrian Wild Ass, a desert nomad with a sandy coat with a striking black leg marking. These guys were the kings of the desert, with slim, tough bodies that made for life in the roughest of terrains. But tragically, their tale took a gloomy turn. Between habitat changes, hunting, and going head-to-head -head with farmers' livestock, they were pushed to the edge. By the late 20th century, they were on the brink of fading away. That's when the conservationists stepped in, giving it everything they had to safeguard the wild spaces that were home to the Syrian wild ass. They even tried to boost their numbers through captive breeding, but despite all these efforts, their hoof prints vanished from the sand forever. And the Syrian wild ass is now nothing but a distant memory. The Dodo Join us as we journey back in time to meet one of history's most legendary characters, the Dodo. This extraordinary flightless bird called Mauritius its homeland. And even though they were long extinct, the Dodo remains a household name. Yep, everyone's heard of the Dodo. With no natural predators to fear, the Dodo evolved without the need for flight. Unfortunately, this also meant that it lacked an escape plan. The dodo's fearlessness proved to be its downfall when humans set foot on the island. Ships carried unwelcome passengers, rats, pigs, and other creatures that wreaked havoc on dodo nests and eggs. Humans too played a role, hunting this bizarre bird for its meat. The last known sighting of a live dodo was in 1681, and it seems as though it really has been lost to the sands of time. But despite their disappearance from the planet, the dodo found a kind of immortality. Literature, art, and popular culture have all paid tribute to the dodo over the years, making them a symbol of extinct animals everywhere. They even made an appearance in the game Animal Crossing. So, here's to the dodo, the most famous extinct creature to have ever walked this earth. Pyrenean Ibex Meet the Pyrenean Ibex, or the Bucardo, the ultimate mountain maven of the Pyrenees. This sturdy goat used to climb steep slopes like a champ, sporting its signature curved horns. Mountain climbers had nothing on these goats. Yep, these mountain pros were built for the peaks, practically sprinting across rocks and cliffs, feasting on a buffet of mountain greens. But they faced some serious issues, whether facing hunters or wrestling with livestock, their numbers started dwindling rapidly. By the 20th century rolled around, they were hanging on by a thread. It became a race against time to save this magnificent creature. 
Scientists went all out, trying to give them a second shot at life through cloning. And in 2009, there was a glimmer of hope. Yep, a cloned Pyrenean Ibex took its first breath. But sadly, a lung defect ended up ruining the whole project. And it seemed like this goat really wasn't meant to be resurrected. Goodbye, Pyrenean Ibex. You really were the greatest of all time. Zanzibar Leopard Have you ever heard of the magnificent Zanzibar Leopard? We don't think so. This mysterious leopard subspecies once ruled the breathtaking landscapes of the Zanzibar archipelago in Tanzania. Imagine your typical leopard, but with a little extra flair. Its coat was covered in unique, closely packed, rosette-like spots that made it stand out from its cousins. Unfortunately, the Zanzibar leopard faced an uphill battle for survival. Like many species, habitat loss hit them hard, with deforestation and urban sprawling taking their toll. To make matters worse, local communities saw them as a threat to their livestock, leading them to destroy any Zanzibar leopard that they saw. Now, here's the sad part. It's believed that the Zanzibar leopard is totally extinct. The last confirmed sighting was all the way back in 1996, and though there have been rumors of sightings since, none have been backed by solid evidence. This mysterious big cat just might have disappeared from the jungle for good. Pauli. Meet the Pauli, also known as the black-faced honeycreeper. This little bird was a true Maui native and had a serious sweet tooth. Nectar, insects, and tiny critters were its go-to snacks. And you'd often spot it flitting around the island in search of a treat. But here's the heartbreaking part. It's safe to say that the Pauli faced its fair share of challenges. Deforestation, pesky invasive species, and a nasty avian malaria were all part of the battle for this tiny bird. In fact, the last time anyone laid eyes on a Pauli was back in 2004, and in 2018 it was officially declared extinct. Conservationists went all out to try and save this little guy. They worked on restoring habitats, kept a close watch for predators, and even set up breeding programs. But despite their best efforts, we had to bid farewell to the Pauli. Yep, it's a stark reminder of how fragile some species can be. Madarin Large White Butterfly This is the Madarin Large White Butterfly, a unique insect exclusive to Madeira. The rare species was first introduced to the world by the entomologist Arthur Gardner Butler in 1886. And it was a real showstopper too. Its wingspan reached an impressive 55 to 65 millimeters, capturing the attention of bug enthusiasts everywhere. But here's the bittersweet part. The last sighting of this butterfly dates back to 1977. Its disappearance is a real mystery. Is it just incredibly rare or has it slipped away from us forever? Well, scientists reckon that its decline might be tied to an unexpected guest, the small white butterfly introduced in the 1950s. It might have brought along a virus strain that the Madarin large white just couldn't combat. Not only that, but a species of wasp, the Costesia glomerata, found in the Canary Islands in 2006, was known to prey on butterflies, especially of this particular family. Nature is a delicate balance, and the missing Madeiran white butterfly just goes to show how fragile life can be. Tecopa Pupfish Let's dip into the wild story of the Tecopa Pupfish, the heat-loving fish that lived in the sizzling hot springs of California's Mojave Desert. These little guys were bright blue, and the last creatures you ever expect to find on one of the world's hottest deserts. Now, these fish were teeny tiny, just 1 to 1.5 inches long, but they were an important part of the ecosystem. Their diet was a mix of cyanobacteria, or as we call it, blue-green algae, and the occasional mosquito larvae snack. And they were basically built for the heat, taking on temperatures that would make most fish sweat out of their gills. But here's where life got really tough for the Tecopa pupfish. And it's all thanks to, you guessed it, human intervention. Yep, people built bathhouses and made modifications to the hot springs changing their habitat for good. Not only that, but these fish were interbreeding with the Amargosa river fish, and that was the final nail in the coffin for their species. Sadly, the last confirmed sighting was in 1990, and by 1981 they had disappeared forever. Falkland Islands Wolf It's the Falkland Islands Wolf, or as the locals called it, the Wara. This little guy was a little mix between a small to medium-sized dog with slim features, stubby legs, and a luxurious rough coat. Before humans barged in, the wara was the main act on the Falkland Islands, 
and the only land mammal strutting its stuff. They lived the solo life, hunting down seabirds, penguins, seals, bugs, and even munching on some salad greens native to the island. Well, it can't hurt to have a balanced diet, right? But this wolf's buffet was about to come to a devastating end. When humans cruised in during the 18th century, they didn't just bring themselves, but a whole entourage of unwanted guests. Rats, cats, and more dogs. Suddenly, Foom became a competition, and the Wara became the easy target. Humans didn't help either, hunting them down for fun and to protect their own livestock. Fast forward to the early 19th century, and the Wara was on its last legs as a species. The last known Falkland Islands wolf had its final curtain call in 1876 on West Falkland. Despite efforts to save this native creature, it was game over for the Wara, making it one of the earliest recorded dog species to ever go extinct. Schomburg's Deer Meet the Schomburg's Deer, aka the Cambodian or Eld's Deer. These magnificent creatures used to live in the lush lands of Southeast Asia, in countries such as Cambodia and Thailand. These guys were basically the social butterflies of the deer world, always hanging out in the tight-knit groups and munching on grass and greens all day long. Sounds pretty sweet, right? Not only were they chilling with their friends, but they were also Olympic-level swimmers, gliding through rivers and wetlands like pros. But as you may have guessed, it wasn't always going to be sunshine and rainbows for these deer. Habitat loss, big agricultural projects, and human conflicts all crashed the party for this deer. And as if that wasn't enough, people were hunting them down for their meat and those fancy antlers too. The last time someone spotted one of these deer in the wild was way, way back in 1932. And it looks as if they really are gone for good.